Here we go. We are live. Okay. I don't know what happened with the countdown. I don't know. YouTube's a little funny today. Acting up a little bit. All right. So let's uh, let's set this up. So we have uh, Bastian here. It's We've got CD YouTube. Okay. Yes, I'm reviewing it. Carl Dark Dahlquist is here. Good to see you. Good evening, to uh, Vicky G, to Jeffrey, hello. Hit that like button, thanks, Carl. And good to see William Cohen here. All right, so uh, what do we have here today? Good, every, good, good to see everybody. All right, well, we're gonna get right to business. Let's uh, let's talk about this. We have the Yoga Seven I. It's a 16-inch laptop running the 12th gen processor. It's a P series. It's the 1260P and uh, you can see a different angle here. I'm trying a few different things here. Um, and then, of course, we have this angle. Uh, it's a really nice uh, auto metal design from what I understand. It's the 7, so it's not going to be as premium as the 9, but premium in its own right. Uh, we already looked at the 9i14 this year already, one of my favorites of 2022. And I was really looking forward to this 16-inch. And I also, I'm getting the 14 inch. That didn't come in yet. I'm anticipating that hopefully early next week. We've got Montauk Whaler here. Good evening to you, my friend. Uh, good to see Football World Today is here. Asif is here. Alfredo's here. Good to see you again. Martin's here. Uh, looks like we got a lot of the regulars here. And a little bit earlier today than we normally do it because first I got a lot of stuff I got to do. And second, I want to try to see if going a little bit earlier might bring in some more people as well. So we have 46 of you already watching. So do me a favor. If you haven't already done so, hit that like button. Let's get this disseminated and spread out over YouTube uh, quickly or as, as much as possible, actually. And uh, if you're already become a member, that's great. I welcome you. And that's growing a lot. That helps on a monthly basis. If you want to become a member, hit that join button. There's three tiers. And of course, if you put a cue before your question or comment, I will see that uh, a lot easier. So it helps me identify it and hopefully we'll get your comment or question heard on the live stream. Again, I'm one person, so just bear with me. So we have a few different angles today. So I've got this angle. I've got this one. 
the top down that you already know. There's the side shot, and then I have this. This is a different camera. This is that. This I'm using this on my A B roll, a lot of B roll and A roll. The Sony A7 IV, which is a really nice camera, does 4K 60, which I'm going to start upping my videos to very soon. Uh, in fact, the next video will be in 4K 60, and that, hopefully that'll go well. It's looking beautiful, and this is just using it as a live stream camera right now. So uh, that's the fifth angle. So we got five cameras working, plus sixth will be, of course, the HDMI into the actual unit itself. So you'll have a lot of angles to cover this. And of course, um, do me a favor, let's keep it orderly. And again, put that cue before your question, and it'll be heard um, in an orderly fashion. So we got 54 of you. So before we get to the unboxing, as it's become a tradition, let's find out the specs of this unit and let me bring it onto the stream here. And as you can see, it's the Lenovo Yoga 7i. I think it's the Gen 7, if I'm not mistaken. I put that in this, in this uh, chart here. Uh, it's a 2022 version, obviously. 16 inch um, display, it's a 2.5K uh, IPS display, 2560 by 1600, 400 nits. They're saying 100% sRGB. It's a 60 hertz display. Kind of wish it was a little bit higher. We'll talk about that. And it has a low blue light filter, which I like. Now, 12th gen Core i7, 1260p. It's an Intel Alder Lake processor. We've seen that one before. Uh, we're gonna curious to see how battery life with a 71 watt hour battery. So hopefully that will make up for any inefficiencies the 1260p might have. It's got integrated Iris XE graphics. Now I didn't see any option for uh, any discrete GPU. So I'm not sure it may be out there, but I just didn't see it. And then the memory is 816 and even saw 32, but I'm not sure if in the US they're giving out 32 as far as availability. I have 16 on mine. And again, it's LP DDR5, which is great. PCIe Gen 4, you got 256, 512, and one terabyte options. I have the 512. Hopefully, they'll be Gen 4 speeds. And then it has a 71 watt hour battery that I alluded to. Uh, wi Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. As far as weight is concerned, 1.9 kilograms, 4.19 pounds. Not too bad for a 16 inch laptop. Uh, again, I'll feel it in hand in a moment. Two megapixel IR RGB camera with privacy shutter. Hopefully that will give us 1080p video. I believe it will, but let's of course check it. And then it has four speakers, quad speakers, two tweeters, two woofers, uh, and that's gonna give us some hopefully great sound as well. So that is the specs on it, and let's get right to business with getting it out of the box. So this again is the typical yoga packaging. We have 56 of you watching. That's enough to get started here. Let's rock and roll. Let's just take everything out as we always do. Okay, let's get this organized. We got some paperwork here. We've got the power adapter. Okay, we'll put that there. Doesn't look like it uses a power cord, a little bit different. And then let's take this off. Okay, we'll get to the unit in a moment. This is the, I believe this is the slate gray. I think it also comes in storm gray, which is a darker color. So this, let's start off with this. This is a 65 watt adapter. And this is the first time I've seen this one. Um, this is a pretty compact. It doesn't flip out or anything. So it's a little bit... Uh, different and then the other thing is again, uh, it doesn't have a power cord. So you're this is the length of it uh, We'll check that out. Of course, you could use any USB-C adapter from what I understand again This is type C. All right, pretty compact and then of course you got warranty information and it looks like a setup guide there So typical stuff here. You can see it here Okay, we can normally see that and Let's get to the unit itself. So so nice all metal design here. Wow, that's nice. 
and you can see it here. That's how thin it is. Okay, you can see the ports there. And uh, it's a very nice all metal. It's a little bit of heft. So again, over four pounds, I think it's 4.17 or 1.9 pounds. All right, let's go over the ports. We got HDMI, uh, USB-A, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, USB-C, and a full-size SD card reader. Nice, like to see that. And then on the right side, headphone jack, a USB-A, and then your power button. So pretty nice, uh, pretty nice ports actually. Um, and there's the bottom. So let's put it down. Again, four, I think it's 4.19 pounds. Let's just take a look at that real quick. So yeah, 4.91 pounds, 1.9 kilograms. Okay, let's do the one-handed test to see if this will open up. There is a little verse notch here that allows you to, well, you could sort of do it. My, I have a very slippery table. So I, I would say yes, but not the most typical thing you normally can do on a two-in-one. Yes, this is a two-in-one. And they didn't send the pen. I probably have a pen here somewhere that will work with this. So... Uh, we may, hopefully we'll check that out. And then they give you the little diagram here, function Q that lets you cycle between the performance mode function and the space bar turns and adjust the keyboard backlight. Then there's the different modes here. You got the notebook or laptop mode, stand mode, tent mode, tablet mode. And the first time you boot up the AC power adapter needs to be connected. Okay. I may have to plug this one in and the system will update. All right. So it's a glossy display. It's a 2.5K display. You can see it here. Very glossy. Uh, it's a touch screen, obviously. Let's take a look at the keyboard. So uh, right away, William's going to be happy. It has a numpad. And these are the typical smile-shaped keys. It's got 53% in battery right now. Hopefully, we can just boot it up. I think Lenovo usually sets it up for me, so I'm not worried about that. Dolby Vision, Atmos, uh, we're talking about... Uh, good sound on this. Again, four speakers on this. It's got a precision. Looks like a glass touchpad. Yeah, that looks like glass. Um, and then it has a sticker here. Long battery life, four speakers, full HD webcam. So good. We're going to get a 1080p on that. And then, of course, uh, really nice, nice keyboard. And then there's a uh, shutter switch over here for the webcam. So I like to see that. It's a physical shutter. And there's a uh, Carl's giving the numpad shout outs and a nice design keyboard according to William. Yeah, I like this. You, you, I knew you would like this. How's the 10? Is this good, the uh, numpad for you? I guess it should be if you do spell spreadsheets and all that. Watching you handle all this does not appear to be a fingerprint magnet. No, in fact, it's not. And I like this slate gray color. Again, also can get it in the storm gray. So this is the lighter one. And this is the Core i7 Intel Evo here. It's the 1260p. Uh, we'll get into performance numbers. Let's, uh, let's power it on. Let's see if it goes on without me having to plug it in. I have a plug from Lenovo here, 65 watt here. So I could probably use that one as well. So this is coming on here. And you can see here the yoga branding right over here. And you can see it from the side there. Um, you can see the keyboard layout here, and I think it's a really nice looking laptop. So it's got Lenovo branding on this side. Okay. And, uh, that's a nice wallpaper. We'll get to that right here. Let's uh, bump up the, the brightness of they're saying 400 nits touch display. Okay. That's good. All right. So let's go to the specs on the display settings here and let me plug this in so I have one handy already let's see if I can just plug it in hopefully it will charge there okay one of the two Thunderbolt four ports and yes it is charging let's just make sure it is okay so let's uh, take a look resolution 2560 by 1600 let me even hook, let me bring in the HDMI and love having this and we can switch to here. So having HDMI to me is a game changer on the laptop because it frees up your USB-C ports, Thunderbolt ports to do other things. So this is um, a very nice display. It's very nice. Let's, and again, like I said, this is going to be 60 Hertz out of the box and you can see that right here. So there's 60 Hertz, 2560 by 1600. 
And uh, if you want to see what the system specs are here, uh, you can see it right there. It is the 12th gen Core i7, 1260p, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it also has, uh, let's take a look at the SSD real quick. Let me go to the device manager. Here we go. And let's go to disk drive. And it looks like it has a Micron 512 gigabyte SSD. Okay, let me go back and get some of your questions and comments. So I know William liked the keyboard, bro. I think you should mention the cons of the laptop because you never feels like a commercial, just feedback. Oh man, what is it from the Middle East, I think? Uh, <laughs> Because the last guy, what was his, Mohammed bin Salman or whatever it was, was giving me a hard time. And now this guy, I don't know, Hajar, I don't know what you guys are up to, man. What are you drinking over there? And obviously you don't watch my videos because I I put pros and cons. So obviously you you don't watch. So for that, what do you think, people? Does he get the ban? Does he get the hammer? I think he does. See ya, Hajar. Okay, Samsung Book Pro seems better. I don't know about that. Oh, here's another one. It's a disappointment that you're not covering the top-end model with 8-series processor and ARC graphics. Well, first of all, ARC graphics are not doing so great. And this is what they sent over, okay? So I can't control what Lenovo sends over. Glossy display production produces reflection. Yes, it does. According to CDYT, my friend has this laptop and he says that the keyboard feels pretty good and the laptop is solid. All right. We got something positive by somebody. Yeah. Chassis is round. So one of the design languages that I like here is they're going with rounded edges. And I, we saw that with the 9 series and it carried over into the Slim series. So I like this design language. Um, in fact, you can see it here. You can see that rounded edges, and it's not sharp when you're holding it. So uh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's uh, test out the keyboard here. Feels good. Nice key travel. A little bit, little bit mushy and a little shallow, but I think it's okay. Numpad, as we mentioned earlier. Now, there is a physical shutter switch on there, as I mentioned earlier. Let's take a look at the camera Let's while well, we have this connected. So this is my first time looking at it. And let's go to here. Okay, we're gonna allow the access to the camera. Let's put it in the video mode. Ooh, this is looking pretty nice. Let's go to here. And uh, this is a 1080p, but let's make sure it's on 1080p. Let's go to, yeah, two megapixels. Yeah, 1080p, 30 frames per second, okay. So what you're looking at here is a 1080p webcam. I'll test the, the, the microphones and how the quality is of the sound in the upcoming video. Um, very, very nice. So this is definitely an improvement over the 15 inch from last year. And one of the differences between this year and last year is the fact that you're getting a 16 inch display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. That's up from the 15 inch from last year. I think it was 15.6. And I think it was a 16 to nine, if I don't, if I remember correctly, I reviewed it, go back to my channel. You can take a look at it. What do you think about the camera? Let me know. I think it's a decent choice if you want to use it for Skype, Zoom, any kind of uh, work from home needs. I think Think you're going to be okay with it camera looks good he, we get the seal of approval from william so that's good okay so let's uh camera's looking good so good job on that front let's uh load in some of the benchmarks i want to see this ssd right off the bat so let me connect this up to the second usb c port and let me put it back over here and let's uh Oh, we're gonna have to remove McAfee. That's the other thing we need to do. Let's, we'll do that after we do this, don't scan. So that's the other thing I wanna re start removing right off the bat. So let's, uh, let me bring over some of my benchmarks that I need to uh, download here. Actually, I don't need to download, I already did that. So let's get the, I'm gonna need this one. Actually, we'll take this one, this one for later. Or 15, we already did. Actually, you know what? Let me go back here. Hold on. Let me do, here we go. 
these four. These are the four right off the bat, and then I need to do Geekbench. So we'll let that load in for a moment. Is the MacBook Pro the best computer in the world? I don't know. Pavel, uh, good to see you. General question. Do you think the H series or the P series processor is better? Uh, H series is going to be the most powerful out of that. And then the P series is performance, but for the ultra portables. And then the U series is really for the ultra portables, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I think H series will do better uh, in power and performance ultimately. All right. So let me put this in the download there. Okay. So. So uh, v VKG likes the way it looks. 12th gen CPU is powerful. Asif, yes, it is. Okay. Are you the most handsome guy in the world? Uh, yes, I am actually. Thank you. I am the most handsome guy in the world. Well, of course, if you didn't know that, uh, then there you have to check your vision, of course. Uh, I'm watching this on the very same laptop, same specs, except it's one terabyte. Love it. So that's HW Dan. All right, good to see that, that you like it. Okay. So let's, um, let's see what else we got here. Okay. Let's go back down here. Moderators, do your job when you uh, see somebody acting up and we know what to do. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at the SSD speeds here. Let's go to the downloads. You can see what I'm doing here. And let's go to the crystal disk mark. We'll start off with that one today. Why not? Just change it up a little bit. I'm sure there's a lot of things downloading in the background in terms of Windows updates and so forth. So uh, as far as this score, it really wouldn't affect this one too much. But again, the other scores, it might. So just bear that in mind. Let's get this up and running. So we got a 512 gigabyte. We said it was Micron. It's the maker of that. I am. There's no, it's just my name, my initials, right? I have no le allegiance to anybody. I do, although I do do um, a lot of AMD and uh, Intel, and I do everything. I do Mac here. We do all that stuff. Arabs he hate you here. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with anything. So I don't know. It's a stupid thing to even bring up because plenty of uh, people in the Middle East or whatever, they are big fans of the channel. So I don't know what you're talking about. So this looks like Gen 3 speeds. So even though this supports Gen 4, we're seeing once again Gen speed, Gen 3 speeds. Uh, hi from the UK. Keep up the good work, Andrew. Very much appreciated. All right. Okay, man. Thank you, Raymond. Dude, that's a nice comment. That's a nice comment. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with those uh, Arab people, uh, at least they're Arab sounding names. Hey, what's up, Michael Bird? Yeah, they're really uh, jealous of me. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Michael Bird, uh, good to see you once again. So Jeffrey from the UK, and uh, we now have the new king who was uh, succeeded uh, Queen Elizabeth who passed away, so. What is it? God save the king, I guess. So yeah, that's good. All right. So we're already seeing 3242 on the read, which is good. But of course, we've been seeing very fast Gen 4 speeds here in 2022. Um, <clears throat> no problem. Let's just stay on point. And, I, and we saw this when we had <laughs> the gaming laptop the other day where we got a, like a very immature crowd. I don't know what the deal was. So hopefully the timing may be, but maybe because of the time, maybe we should stick to the later time. We'll avoid the, those comments, those ridiculous comments. So anyway. So while that's running, let's get the, uh, we're going to take the McAfee off this. So we'll have to wait till that's, I don't think that will affect it. So let me go to the app settings here, apps and features. And I want to take that McAfee off because that really bugs me. So, and I also need to try out a pen. I probably have a few of them here from different brands and so forth. Uh, where am I looking for? Here it is. So let's just take this crap off. 
again, John McAfee is probably from hell putting this on all the laptops. So we need to remove it to rid ourselves from the McAfee curse. And I was, and now, by the way, I get satisfaction out of removing it. I don't know why. I have such hatred towards McAfee. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So we got 59 of you watching. All right. <clears throat> okay. We're going to get ready to ban somebody soon. We'll see. Okay. So let's see. That's removing the live safe. Okay, so we'll have to restart that later because we're still running that test. So this test is just about done and that's a pretty decent speeds. Again, we know this chipset very well at this point. We know it supports Gen 4. So if you want to swap it out, you should be able to. Hopefully we'll have time to open it up today and we can see what's uh, inside as far as what's user upgradable. I would imagine the uh, RAM is soldered in, which is what be, it's become the trend here in 2022, pretty much. It's rare to find a laptop where you can upgrade the RAM, although we had one in the, I think it was the uh, HP NV16 actually, that's coming out tomorrow. That video should be ready tomorrow. And um, by the way, really good stuff on that one. 12900H processor, that's a Core i9, RTX 3060, uh, that also has a really nice UHD Plus OLED display, but you can get it in a 2K display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. That, that video is going to drop tomorrow. Okay, Mad RB, Andrew, you're doing amazing work. Uh, great channel and good quality videos and excellent context. Keep up the good work and thank you again for sharing the latest new tech and cheers. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mad. Okay, so let me take a screenshot of this. Okay, now we can close that out. Let's restart it so we can get rid of the McAfee. Okay. Yeah, I, the, I have one here. It's great. It's the Lenovo Legion with the AMD one, but the last time we did it, we got a bunch of clowns and it wasn't worth it. So I might just do that as a regular unboxing video because nobody behaved. Uh, can it be powered from the USB-C? Yes, I'm powering it right now. And it's the only way actually to be powering it. You're powering it through the USB-C. Uh, we have two of them here, both on the left side. I kind of wish they were on opposite side of each other. We don't get that. So, so but Pavel, yes, you can. Obviously, it's the only way to charge it with USB-C. And by the way, that takes away one of the ports when you're charging. But it's good. It's Thunderbolt, so you can connect to docks. You can connect to external GPUs and stuff like that. Now, let's get a Geekbench test going here. Let me disconnect the uh, HDMI while I do that, just because it will get less things to have to contend with as far as resources are concerned. And again, just as a just take it with a grain of salt. But I think for the bo for the most part, these results will be better in the upcoming review once I have everything updated all the firmware everything is uh, optimized but let's just run it for the for the hell of it and we can just see what we're going to get right out of the box here um you can see it here and let's just go here with the cpu benchmark oh and you know what i forgot to do hold on let's cancel that for the moment let's uh put it into i'm not even connected to the internet but uh, we're on best performance already but we, let's go to lenovo vantage and make sure we're on um, power here. Let's make sure we're on the most uh, power power performance. Yeah, so we're on the intelligent cooling. Let's go to the extreme performance. There's also battery saving. So we're at the top performance here. Now let's run it with that being said. Okay, hello to Silk95, good to see you. As we have 57 of you watching.
Yeah, no, I, I, the criticism is one thing, but then, you know, when I would, that last live stream that we did with the Legion nine, Legion seven, I was ridiculous. It was just too many, um, too many douchebags. So, all right. So let's just keep going. So that's doing that. We're going to hopefully get a good score. Again, 12 cores. That's going to be eight efficiency cores, four performance cores on the 1260p. We've seen it before. And again, things are running in the background, so I'm not expecting a gangbuster performance here. At least not with this initial run. And again, the pricing will, and we'll get to the pricing in a moment, you know, we're starting at about $1,139 and then it goes up from there. If you check the links in the description below, you can get the Best Buy link. You could also get the uh, Lenovo link. So it's all there. You can customize it over at the Lenovo website. The Best Buy link has, I think, the one I have. And I think it's like $1,199, which to me is a, is a good deal because you're getting a nice high-res display, 2.5K display, 2560 by 1600. You're getting the 16 gigabytes of RAM. You're getting the 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. And I think for the premium all metal design here, which I think is really nice, little flex or give in the chassis. So obviously really rock solid here. Nice uh, full HD camera. I think it's a nice deal for that, for those that don't want to break the bank and get something more expensive. I think this offers a lot. Now, of course it has a glossy display. You can see it there. It's a, it's a 360 degree hinge. You can rotate it. We'll do all that after we get this done here. But pretty much a very versatile, a very nice, with that won't, nice laptop that won't break the bank. And then I think that in the end of the day, you can't go wrong with that. At this point, according to Michael Bird, uh, in computing, there should be no slow machines. Even the least powerful stuff should perform well. I agree. So look at this. This is something interesting. I've never seen this before. Geekbench encountered the following problem when trying to upload your results. Oh, you know why? Because I'm not connected to the internet. Let me, uh, let me connect it up. That's probably why it did that. So I don't know the result. Hmm. We may have to run it again. <laughs> Again, this, this is just an initial stuff here. Okay, so let's run it again. All right, so according to uh, William, the overall Lenovo makes overall great PCs, no doubt. What gets confusing is the name is they have so many different models, Yoga, ThinkBooks, ThinkPads. Don't forget Slim here in the US. It gets confusing differentiating between them. I get confused even. So that tells you everything you need to know. Does this laptop... Uh, do the laptop ports feel all right? Kind of weird question, but my IdeaPad ports were kind of tight. I, I, I just took it out of the box, but so far it seems okay. When I put in the HDMI, and um, if I put it in now, let's see. It's a little tight. I'd, I'd actually have it a little bit tight, to be honest, VK, than to have it loose. So actually it feels pretty good. And you can see what's going on here. I don't know if that'll affect the test. We'll see. Business business serious of Lenovo is outstanding. Very durable. I'm a big fan of Lenovo from a long time. Excellent work. Thank you, Asif. Thank you. I appreciate that. And according to Michael Bird, William Cohn was just talking to my wife about that. Oh, you were talking. I didn't think William was. Way too many models, I think. And, you know, I've spoken to Lenovo uh, a couple of times, multiple times over the last year and a half, two years. And I think they even agree, but it's such a big company, not those who make those decisions, um, doesn't necessarily mean those are the, you know, the product teams and so forth. So that's more marketing. I think marketing comes into that and it does ve get very confusing. I mean, I even get confused on it. Yeah. If I get confused, we might be all be in trouble. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I get confused between the yoga, the idea pad, the slim line, and then you have the think pad, the think book. I mean, it feels like a deja vu. Didn't we have this discussion like last year or two? It just goes to show you that it's still, you know, a confusion issue. And when you're going to like a, a big box store like Best Buy or even Costco, then it gets even more confusing. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why Best Buy doesn't carry certain SKUs 
even though they call them yoga, they're not 360 degree convertibles and they don't want to confuse their customers because they don't want people returning them. So I think that's what's been going on. Thank you, Alex, for putting the cue before your question. I appreciate that. Can iPad Pro with Magic Keyboard replace a notebook? I tried it, to be honest with you. I don't think we're there 100%. They're getting there, but I think there's just some applications you need a real computer for uh, at the end of the day. That's at least my opinion on that. So we're getting a 79.43 and a 60. Let's let's take a look at this. So again, I would say this is a little bit about a couple of thousand lower than what we're probably going to get when everything is all updated. 1669 is a little bit low as well for this chipset. But then again, I need to do more testing on it. But let me just take a screenshot anyway, just to see this initial one. Again, we'll run it probably again one more time when things have settled down on this. Again, first boot type thing, you know that how that works. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the next one. I'm not going to bother with the compute benchmark. We've seen the integra integrated Iris Xe graphics. Um, so let's uh, let's go to the let's see here. Let's do the R15 next and. That's a pretty good one. It's a quick one we can run through here. So according to Pavel, I'm doing great with the battery test, especially with the battery test. Don't change it. Okay, I appreciate that. Andrew, what's up with the early stream? My best guess is your wife wanted some spanking tonight. Okay. Stupid. You know, these people are just stupid. Mark, I have a question for you. How can I uh, best? How can I best optimize my laptop to have the best performance? Um, well, that's a, we could be we could have a conversation that can keep going and going on that. How do you optimize it? Well, just make sure all the updates, Windows updates, are done. All the firmware updates that are pushed out by the OEMs. Uh, for that particular model, that uh, that certainly helps optimize it. Uh, try not to have too many processes in the background that take up resource system resources. So I would try to do that. So stuff like that are one way to start to get optimization. Um, according to Halfstream, is the competitor to the M1 is this a competitor to the M1 Pro for people who want a touchscreen? So I want at Best Buy, and the haptic touchpad felt like a Mac. So I don't think this is a haptic. No, this is a physical. This is a, not a haptic. Um, you might be confused with a different model, but I can tell you this. Um, the M1 Pro, and I'm using it right now on this live stream with the M M1 Pro on the MacBook 14 is very good. I have no complaints about it. The only thing is, if you're going to do any kind of gaming, don't go to the Mac. If you want any upgradability, don't go to the Mac. If you want any kind of um, window, if you need to run windows apps, obviously don't go to the Mac, uh, stuff like that. That's really pretty common sense kind of thing. But for the most part, I think the, there, you know, it just depends what's the right tool for the right job. First time here. Why are people rude and hating on the guy? Uh, it's just, you know, you get certain times, I guess we got to watch this time of day. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't matter. People are stupid. That's all I can tell you. Some people are just dumb. I mean, there's no, there's no other way around it. I hate to be cynical, but, uh, you know, that's what you get. Some, some kind of elements that are out there, uneducated, pretty much, um, Neanderthals in a sense. Okay. So let's run this, uh, benchmark. I don't know why word is running. Let me close that. So let me accept this. No problem. And I can tell you right away that I don't need to do these live streams. I can just do the regular videos. I'm thinking of doing that, actually. So if you people are going to do that, then that's the case. And good to see Mallory. How are you? Uh, nice uh, to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Comp man's here. How are you? I don't care. It's just, I just don't want it to ruin it for you guys. So, you know, yes, thank you, Mallory. I just don't want to ruin it for you guys because uh, I enjoy doing this, but it's not fun when somebody just makes stupid stupidity. I mean, just shows their stupidity. So at the end of the day, you know, I, I want us to have a great time here, a lot of fun. 
but uh, I didn't want to do it. I'm not going to do it if it's just not worth it. You as well just saw you started streaming what's happening, what's happened? Nah, just some stupid kids or whatever probably on here, or maybe even adults, I don't know. But it seems, for, it seems like it's coming from the Middle East. I don't know why, but it just seems like it. Ignore the crazies. Yeah, I do, Paul. All right, so let's run the CPU test. So you can see here... We got a 101. Yeah, that's about right for a integrated solution here, the Iris XE graphics. Okay. Good to see uh, Dunya from Algeria, North Africa. Nice. P Half stream saying, please keep the live streams. These are the best videos for laptop reviews. I'd love to. But uh, I'll be honest with you. If uh, ruins the experience, it's really not worth it. We can just do the regular videos. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so decent scores here. Decent scores. Okay. All right, so let's take a screenshot. Okay. And let's go to the next one real quick. Let me save that. Let's do the R20 while we're at it here. So tomorrow, I'm going to do release at some point tomorrow, the um, HP Envy 16, which by the way, they also went from a 15 to a 16 inch, big difference, uh, loving that laptop. I'll have my review on that. And it will be my first one in 4K 60 in a long time. I used to do them last year a couple of times just to experiment, but I'm going with the Sony a7 IV which is a really nice camera. It's a nice hybrid camera, good for photography and good for video. And I'm really liking it so far. Love from Turkey. All right. The screen on the Yoga 16 seems too bright to read the text. The characters seem to glow around for your, our other viewers having the same. So a couple of things. So let me take a look at this. Hold on. So I think, I don't think the brightness will affect it because of the HDMI. It's coming through the HDMI port here. So it could be the HDMI port going into my streamer, into my um, A10 Mini Extreme. So there, there you go. Yes, you you tightened up my setup. Yeah, I did. I tightened up the setup. It's uh, got five cameras. We've got HDMI going here. And you can see what we got four of them here. And you can see the... That one's a little bit off kilter, but there you go. You can sort of see it there. Um, yeah, so we got all the cameras going. I think the Envy and the Yoga 9i are head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree on that. So this is a dark background. That may help, by the way. Yeah, that seems okay, right, to read? Again, it's connected to HDMI to the uh, my ATEM Mini Extreme, which is my camera switcher. And here comes my dog. Thanks, I appreciate that, Mallory. A lot of time <laughs> and a lot of money. <laughs> this is where it's going. So you can see here, I can say, well, camera one is right here. This is the uh, Blackmagic, what is it? The Blackmagic, so it's the Blackmagic Cine uh, Cinema Camera Pro, the 6 Pro, I think that's what they call it. I don't know, it's just expensive. Um, number two is my Sony FX 33 or whatever the hell they're calling it. FDR 33. That's actually a camcorder. This one is the Sony a 6,400 top down. This one is a Sony FDR a 700 prosumer camera. And then this one, and you can see Max in the background with his white tail. Uh, this is the new one, the Sony a 7 IV with a, with a, a lens on it. Which one did I get? Uh, to, I think it's 24 to 70 from Sigma. It's an art lens. It's actually pretty good. But this is just 1080p, but it can go to 4K 60, and that would be great. And then, of course, I have this. There are really six cameras, according to William. You are not counting the one, the laptop you are viewing, correct? So six inputs, really. These 1080p cameras of the PCs are almost as good as your cameras you're using. Yes, that's get. they're getting better, William. They're getting better. So we'll see. Hi, Andrew. Uh, how are you? Big hug from Brazil. All right. Thank you. Uh, I, 
I would love to visit Brazil, that's for sure. So, okay, so let's get to the score here. This is a 30-57. Let me screenshot that. And I think we're seeing here that the things are happening in the background. So I'm not going to count too much on these scores. I'll rerun them when things are updated. And the one I'm really interested in, and then we're going to run that now, is a Cinebench R23. Actually, I did it wrong here. Hold on. Let me just, uh, since it's not so clear, let me just do it on here. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, dark mode helps with readability. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to change the dark mode in a second. What's going on with this? There we go. Okay. So that's clearing up. So let me go to search. Let me say dark mode. That will definitely help. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. And of course, because of the numpad, I'm off a little bit. So let's turn it on for a uh, system wide. Keyboard's uh, pretty good. Okay, so now, yeah, this should be better. This should be better to see. Yeah, give me some of that money. So much better than the 720p mediocre class cameras they used last year. Absolutely, William. Absolutely. And what is that? Beetlejuice? Ovadio. That's Beetlejuice on there. One of my favorite people from the Howard Stern show. Okay. All right. I like you. All right. That's good. All right. So. Yeah, anybody, Mallory, any of the moderators, including Mallory, of course, a moderator, can you, uh, yeah, you have the, you can ban anybody you need to ban because uh, it's just ridiculous. Do you think Lenovo makes better hardware than Dell? I have the impression that Dell's been failing more often lately. Um, I don't know. I've been reading a lot of stuff. Um, I had that issue with the Dell XPS 13 9315 that seemed to have been resolved through some firmware update and the Windows 10, Windows updates. Uh, if you caught that, you, you catch my video and there you go. And then of course, um, there are some documented things on Reddit and so forth of quality control issues. I like it. I like the stuff they're producing. If there is some issues, I brought it to the attention of Dell. Their, their team is uh, first rate when it comes to responding to this kind of stuff. So hopefully, uh, if there's any issues, we can bring it to their attention. That's all I can do. But as far as reviewing the stuff, I just call it as I see it. And the, 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 the XPS line, the Inspiron line that I reviewed, the Latitude I reviewed that's coming this the, the next week is going to be great. I even have the XPS desktop, which I'm loving, by the way. Thank you, Mallory. So, hello, just a proposition, but that would be cool to get a USB key with Linux on it and just see how Lenovo's hardware. I got to start doing that. I agree. I would agree, I agree 100%. Oh, wow, early stream. Yeah, I'm sorry, one bad van. I, I did it early today, and I'm kind of regretting it because we, we got that. Remember that bad element we got with the um, Legion 7i? Well, they're back. But it seems like they're from the Middle East for some reason. I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm assuming, I don't know, but... Uh, not a good look. Not a good look. Uh, anyway, oh, wow, early stream. So, yeah, that's good. All right. So, yeah, Pavel, I like XPS line. In fact, I put my I put my money where my mouth is, and I bought uh, quite a few of them. All right. So, let's, uh, let's do the R23. And this is going to test where, where this is going to come into play, obviously. And this is all behind the scenes. We're going to have a full video on this. This is going to show any kind of thermal throttling it takes into account. This is a heavy sustained workload. Let this run in the background while we're talking here. Uh, finally, test out my new powers. <laughs> yes, Bud Bad Van has become a uh, moderator. So yes, you can ban people. It's fun, actually. So I like to ban people. So, so re to recap, we're looking at the, and you can see it here. 
the Lenovo Yoga 7i. It's the new one here for 2022. It's a 16 inch, a uh, upgrade or a bigger display, I should say, from last year. And uh, I'm liking it a lot, people. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, it's got an all metal design. You see the Yoga branding there. Uh, it's a very nice and it's convertible. We can flip, you know, you can flip it into the different modes. You can see it here. This is the tent mode. And then, of course, you have the stand mode or the presentation mode. You can see it there from the back. And then, of course, you have the tablet mode. Probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm running that. But, yeah, it's, a, it's nice. And then, of course, I got to check to see which pen works with this. Let me see what pens I have just handy here. So let me put this over here. So I got a bunch of pens here. I don't know what's charged or what's not charged. Just got a bunch of pens. Let's just see what works. This is a this is an HP. So the HP, I don't know if it's charged or just doesn't work with that one. Surface pen, my original or second gen surface pen. I think the battery's dead on this. Oh, this one works. This one's from Dell. But again, you, Lenovo makes it. So this, I would imagine this is either Microsoft Pen Protocol, I think, or it could be uh, Wacom. I don't know. I'll have to find out. But it seems like it's working okay. All right. You can see it here. I'm, I'm left-handed, by the way. Okay, I think I'm going to ban uh, Beetlejuice. Okay. All right, I believe, okay, I believe the keyboard, oops, sorry. I believe the keyboard will pretty much be the same as the Idea 5 Pro and the Think Book 16P Gen 2. Uh, very similar, very similar. You, you got that, you pretty much nailed that, I think. You're right. I think it's very similar to that. And by the way, I have the Think Book 16P Gen 3. Uh, we did the unboxing, we did the um, we did the first, uh, did we do a video on that? No, we did a, a re another re another stream actually, I should say, I don't know why I'm having trouble with words tonight, another stream on that one, but I will have my formal video on that coming soon. See, I disagree with you. See, this is a good comment, by the way. I, I like this comment because it's, it's obviously showing something that I think is a misconception out there. I don't have any bias towards any brand. I like Lenovo, I like Dell, I like uh, HP. I don't have a bias towards any of them. Um, I review them all, including Apple, including Samsung. So I don't think I'm biased. I think I'm very fair. I think I give you the pros and the cons. So I, I respectfully disagree with you. Um, I just seem to do a lot more Lenovo just simply because they have a lot more devices that they send out. I mean, it's just simple as that. But so does Dell. They have quite a few. And HP, not as much, but they have good... Sometimes it's quality over quantity. But it's not it, It's not a matter of uh, of a bias. I like the, you know, the fact that I can... I just look at what's the right tool for the job at hand. And if it can get the job done, and I'll, I'll review it fairly. And I'll, and I'll give you the pros and the cons. Oh, okay, it's Wacom. Thank you, Omid. Thank you. I appreciate that. That seemed to got the uh, ball rolling here. I only buy Lenovo Windows computers. Right. So, so she likes Lenovo. But that doesn't mean as a reviewer, uh, that doesn't mean that I'm biased towards one brand or another. I've called out brands from Dell, Lenovo, HP, where they have issues, and I'll bring I'll be the first one to to do that. So the people are not following the rules. You got to put a cue if you have a question, if you have a comment, don't spam the chat. So so I'm gonna have to ban. Uh, I, I have no tolerance policy. No tolerance. You spam the chat, you get you get booted. Uh, I am biased towards Lenovo. <laughs> So Michael Bird likes Lenovo. They are the right bet. So, you know, it's so funny when I put out a Dell video, I get all the Dell haters, but then 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 that's only the first day or so. And then the Dell, the Dell fans come in and they're happy with it. And so, you know, there you go. Oh, I appreciate that, Mallory. And I'm using a Mac to just to tell you how varied I am and how platform agnostic I am. I'm actually live streaming from a Mac here. You can't, you can sort of see it here. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, 
what more can I tell you? I, I use all platforms. So according to Critical Thinker 88, uh, Lenovo honored their price guarantee, by the way. I contacted them and they told and told them the price went down after purchase. And that's a nice thing. I'm glad to hear that. That's good. Question, how does this compare to the Dell XPS series? So that's a that's a more premium. So so the seven series is more with the HP Envy, uh, maybe the Inspur online also. Uh, so I think this is uh, very nice. Don't get me wrong, but I think the XPS is a flagship. This is not a flagship. The Yoga 9i is a flagship. There's nothing wrong with having a preferred brand of quality and customer services are good. I agree. I agree. It's not about that. And as a consumer, you know, I buy some of this stuff, not all of it, obviously. But when I buy it, I'm a consumer just like you. But when somebody tells me I'm biased towards a brand, they obviously, A, don't watch my channel because they know I'm not biased towards any brands. I'm not beholden to anyone, unlike some certain uh, national national outlets and so forth um, that shall remain nameless. But that's just the territory here, you know, as far as that. See here, Tectonic loves Lenovo. Question, thank you for putting the cue. What's the cores inside? Okay, so we got uh, 12 cores. That's eight efficiency cores and four performance cores. Comment, I think you should uh, stick to the 10 p.m. videos as many folks are making the review off topic. I, I, have a, I, I tend to agree, CD, I tend to agree. How does the screen resolution compare with the 4K? So 4K, and you can sort of see it here, 4K would be, um, obviously 4K would be a higher pixel count. You'll do less in battery life. I think this is a, the good, this is a good blend between the having good, good, nice clarity, good, obviously resolution, high resolution, but yet being more efficient using less power. So I think this might be the best of both worlds, but 4K is 4K. You know, some people want the high pixel count, especially for content creators and so forth. Uh, Abdul says, I think you should do live gaming laptops as this channel feels saturated with ultra books, which are paid. Uh, okay. Thin and light gaming laptops are high demand. Well, that's just a stupid comment. I'm just going to remove him. And again, it seems like it's coming from the middle East. On contrary, Andrew, Lenovo should be as a standard to, for comparison to other brands on the Windows Linux ecosystem. So they're very good with Linux. And I'm going to have to start doing stuff. I keep saying that, but I just I got to find the time. I just got to find the time. Kudos to my 2015 Lenovo IdeaPad 315-inch laptop. Still kicking hard. It's part of my life now. Good. So my Lenovo's, your Lenovo's come with a pen. Good, yeah. So this is just the one they sent. I don't know if there's SKUs that they sell. Maybe the one at Best Buy. Link I put, by the way, in the description below uh, for both the Lenovo site and the Best Buy site. What about the GPU? So this is integrated Iris XE graphics. Uh, there's no, I, I didn't see any option for a discrete GPU either from NVIDIA or for whatever, but I just didn't see any option for that. Uh, this is what they sent over and has, again, the uh, integrated Iris XE graphics. And it did okay uh, on the first test we ran, and it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. I've said it before. I think they're getting a little bit long in the tooth in terms of an integrated solution as far as the Iris XE. All right, okay, thanks very much. Looking forward to it. Sadly, these live streams are held very late, on one to three local time. That's why I keep it up as a, a replay. So people can catch them. Fairly new here, but anything on the a all AMD Legion 7, I have it here. But I'm not going to do it as a live stream because there's too many clowns. Uh, so I will just release it as a video this upcoming week. So stay tuned, son. Too many clowns. Too many clowns come in. And it's just not fun to have to ban. And it's not fair to the moderators. It's not fair to me. And I'm just not going to do it. So I have it here. I mean, I have, I'm looking at it right over there um, and I'm just not going to do it. What's the difference between this laptop and the ThinkPad X1 line? Well, this is a consumer brand laptop, a consumer focused laptop. That is a, a business laptop, a, con a commercial laptop. Uh, ThinkPads are business commercial laptops. According to Umit from Turkey, right? Uh, 
Lenovo has more laptop models than Dell, HP, Asus, Microsoft, Apple, and Ace, Apple and Acer combined as far as I examined them the last few months. Yeah, they have tremendous amount of SKUs. Good to see PK here. How are you? Nobody should hate you. Nah, you're a good guy. We know you're a good guy. I know that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, does Lenovo have a 15-inch 16 to 10 aspect ratio laptop that you have reviewed recently? By the way, love your content. So Lenovo 15-inch. I think they're pretty much exclusive now to 16. I don't know if they, I think they moved away from the 15. Is anybody can recall on Lenovo? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they're all 16 now. Thank you, my friend. But I could be wrong. I, I just can't, nothing comes to mind on that. I got 75 of you. Nice little turnout. That's good. So this is running in the background. Obviously, I'm running the R23. And we should be getting our multi-core score any moment. And not a great score. So again, I think things are happening and I was connected to the HDMI. 77,091. I think we could do a little bit higher on this chipset, but let's run the single core. Okay. Uh, what about palm rejection? Thanks. Okay, so let me take that uh, pen I had. Where did I, what did I do with it? Oh, I put them somewhere. Was it this one? Let's see, hold on. Yeah, okay. So I have a pen here, and again, it's a Dell, so it's just, it's using the Wacom AES technology. So palm rejection. So if I go to any, like, let's go to a website or something. Let's go to my website. Okay, so should be connected here. Oh, I've got the S in my. Okay. All right, so let me rest my palm. Yeah, my palm is rested right there. It looks like it's scrolling. It's only recognizing the pen. That's good. Whiteboard, I don't think I can bring up because I'm not, I don't think I'm logged into my account. But anyway, we're not going to get an accurate score on my thing. You know what I could do? Let's let, let's let this keep running in the background. I want to do the speedometer 2.0, but we'll do that after. So yes, the palm rejection seems like it's okay. Again, I have to do more testing on it. Okay. How many frames per second can I get on Valorant? I don't know. How long have you been passionate about computers? Pretty much my whole life. I started on an Apple IIc. Uh, obviously, that dates me, but uh, I had an Apple IIc growing up, and then we moved to a MacBook SE 30, and that's, I wish I still had these. And then from there, I went to, I liked any kind of handhelds like Palm, uh, the iPacs from Compaq, if people remember those uh, Windows mobile devices and stuff like that. I had the um, the trio, the Palm Trio, and all that stuff. All the handhelds I had. Then I had. Then I started moving into Windows and stuff, and you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's just a trip down memory lane. What did what? Whatever Lenovo did, they did it right. I have watched you over an hour handling this laptop, and have yet to have, see any fingerprints on this. Yeah, no, I. You know, how I feel about fingerprints. A good color. This is like the slate gray. I think they're calling it. Uh, it's a good color, and you can see it here. And I like the fact that it's uh, fingerprint less. Well, you can see less fingerprints, I should say. So it's pretty good. I remember the color, the color computer three. Okay. Um, and then for a few years, I didn't really use anything. It's kind of funny. And then uh, got back into it with the UMPCs. I really like those UMPCs from 2007, 2008. Uh, one of the channels I used to watch was UMPC Portal, Chippy Payne. I, I think I talked about him last time. I follow him on Twitter. He's a really good guy. Um, and I met him at CES in 2009. And that was a very inspirational time for me because I still didn't do my channel at that point, but it started the wheels turning. I didn't do it till years later, but uh, I started my, my first video end of 2015, early 2016. So there you go. 
question, a, a comment. I believe it is called the Arctic Gray. Okay, Arctic Gray. I wanted to say Slate Gray. I think they have a Slate Gray, which is even lighter. Right, this is the Arctic Gray. I think you're correct. So I might have said the wrong name. And then there's Slate Gray also. So Arctic Gray, a little bit lighter. And it's a very nice color, by the way. Thank you, CDYT. So does this model have an AMD variant? So I think it's going to be the idea pad, right? Where we saw with the AMD processors. I think that's the equivalent to this. Uh, I don't think they make one with the yoga moniker, but I could be wrong. Again, the naming done, the naming convention by Lenovo is very, very confusing, especially different regions have different monikers and so forth. So yeah, it's very, very confusing. Good to see Yasser. 68 of you watching, okay. So, so far, I don't think it's getting too hot. So it's, it's a little warm on the bottom. But uh, let me just check the bottom here. Yeah, it's a little warm on the bottom. But it's uh, pretty good. Again, I'll have a full video on this, so don't worry. So according to Peter, I think it's very easy for small channels to get review units in America. With those views, it's impossible to get a brand deal here in Europe. I don't know. I don't know, uh, Peter, but all I know is I worked my ass off and uh, I got to a point where uh, I have a good relationship with the brands as far as working relationship in terms of being fair. They don't ask for anything in advance. They don't pay me unless, unless you listen to some of these people from earlier on the live stream, they think I'm being paid. Um, if I do any kind of sponsored video and get paid for it, I will let you know. I will let you know how I got the device, whether I bought it, whether it was sent as a review unit, whether I keep it, whether I send it back. That's why I do that disclaimer. I know it's annoying sometimes and you don't want to hear the same things over and over, but it's important for me to be upfront and very transparent with my audience as to what is uh, happening behind the scenes. I don't think it's fair to you to if I'm trying to deceive you in any way. So obviously I want to be upfront and I want to be as transparent as possible to let you know, hey, I'm not being paid. Hey, I'm being impartial here. And that's the bottom line. And everybody else, they're probably just jealous that I have good working relationships that I've worked hard to maintain and um, hard to pr preserve because I know a lot of other reviewers uh, can get blacklisted if they are... You know, they, they do certain things. Now, I would never, if I find out there's a problem with something, I'll tell you about it. I did that with Adele when we had the live stream. I um, And I told you in the review video, the 9315, hey, we had this problem and this is what happened. So, I mean, that's all I can do. I can report what I find and that's it. You don't like the power buttons on the keyboards. Well, this is not on the keyboard. It's on the side there. It must be fun having many laptops, not going to lie. Well, uh, it's fun to a point, and yes, I love doing this, don't get me wrong, but after a while, ask William, He know, he's commented on this, uh, they all look the same. And by the way, for those wondering, the power button is over here. So that's for those who are wondering. So yes, they all look the same. So yes, this model doesn't have an AMD variant. Idea pads look like they're the same model with a different naming convention with AMD chipsets. And I've reviewed many of them on the channel and I have more coming. So again, I wish they would just make it simpler and try to make it easier for the consumer and even us reviewers um, to figure out what the hell is what, you know? I didn't notice, sorry, I notice what? Oh, yeah, no, no problem. No, it's not, no. I just wanted to point out that the power button is on the side, if that's what you're talking about. Okay, where is Revolt used to be here all the time? Yeah, Revolt, I, I booted him because he didn't behave during that uh, Legion 7i and it was getting annoying. So uh, maybe I'll unboot him at some point. I don't know, uh, to be honest. It's quiet, I like it. So let's just keep it like that for now. And if you're friends with him, tell him I said hi. 
yeah, the, this is a very promising model. I'm very happy with it so far. But I noticed a couple of things. So we're learning, I'm learning on the job here, people. When I do these earlier live streams, we get a, a really a lower element of people. That's what I'm noticing so far. Um, uh, you know, I don't need to be negative or anything, but uh, that's it. What's my daily driver? I rotate them. I got too many to, to make a daily driver. Which would you prefer, Yoga 9i or the 7i? So this is a 16-inch. If you're talking about the 14-inch, I'll have that one 7i early next week, hopefully. I already did the 9i 14, and I loved it. Uh, one of the laptops of the year. I would prefer the 9i. It has a little bit more bells and whistles. Not everybody needs it, but um, like especially that rotating sound bar, I like it. Oh, the speakers from the top. So uh, we have four speakers on this, right? So I think these are speakers up here, I think. I don't know. And then there's two on the bottom. So you can see right there. So... And I could tell you it sounded pretty good in the initial test that I did. Well, well, let me see, actually. Let me unhook the HDMI here. All right, so let's go to YouTube and let me just play one of my videos, even though I'm not connected to my account. I just wanna hear the sound on this. And let's go to my channel. So here's my Yoga 9i. Let me just listen to the sound. Just give me a, give me a second. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I have in this pairing sleeve that has the Yoga moniker on it is the brand new Lenovo Yoga 9i 14 inch here for 2022. It's running the brand new 12 channel. Sounds pretty good. Part of my own. Lenovo is my Voice best. sounds good. That means there's lots of the different modes. It's a nice, nice sound. So for voice, it sounds pretty good. I don't want to play any copyright music, so let me go to Epidemic Sound. Done. Let me play some music, but I want to go to Epidemic Sound. And let me log into my account. Keyboard is feeling pretty good, actually. There's a hundred percent volume, pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So according to Peter, he thinks the Ultrabook space is too saturated, too many good options to choose from, which we could have the same in the thin and light gaming laptop industry. So Ultrabook space, too saturated, too many good options. So a lot of that, that is a comment I, I hear quite a bit, actually. And I think there's something to that. Uh, there are a lot of Windows options, especially right now in this space. And even obviously MacBooks, MacBook Air, even the MacBook Pro I'm using, thin and light, uh, really, really good stuff, whether it be from AMD process-based laptops or uh, Ryzen's obviously, or the MacBook M1, M M M2, the M1 Pro, M1 Max, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of options. How does it perform in terms of battery life? I don't know. I just took it out of the box, uh, what, a half an hour ago? No, an hour ago. I don't know. Hello from Lima, Peru. Hola, como estas, my friend? Mi amigo. Let's see if we got that score. Almost done. All right, we're gonna probably wrap it up soon anyway. We have, what, 63 of you watching?
So battery life, I'll have to test uh, on the video. Obviously, I just did it. I, there's no way for me to know. Pavel, how can this guy be anyone's favorite YouTuber? That's a good question, my friend. That's a good question. Well, we'll never know the answer to that because I, I threw you out. <laughs> <laughs> People are stupid. All right. So yeah, this is a, probably not a probably the time we're not going to do again uh, anymore. We'll just stick to the late night stuff for the adults. You like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And by the way, uh, I appreciate that. I, you know. There's a lot of good options out there, but you chose to check me out. That's pretty good. Okay. No problem. See, you're only 15, which is not only, it's good. You're lucky. You have your whole life ahead of you. 15 and, um, and you're mature and you're asking good questions. So why can't everybody be like you? Everybody, a round of applause for CD. Am I still, are you still into Macs? I'm using a Mac right now. I'm into all things that work, that are a good tool for the job. That's what I'm into, OJ. All right, let's see. That's almost done. Any other questions or comments, people? So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that we're probably not going to do this time again. This experiment uh, didn't didn't really pass muster as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I, I'm not obviously not discouraged because we still have some great people here, great comments. Um, so I'm going to just, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how to, you know, I'm not going to do that AMD on a live stream. There's no way I'm going to do that again. You know, no way. We'll do the Legion 7 as a video, and then, and then that's it. Yogurts are known for their keyboards. Yeah, it's a good keyboard. It's a smile-shaped keys. We've seen this before. Power supply, 65 watts, Pavel. 65 watts. And you know, it's not, and by the way, did you notice something? No super chats tonight. Look who's, look at the, the audiences. This is very interesting, right? Not one super chat, not that I'm, I'm asking for any super chats, but I usually get one or two, but I can tell from the quality of this, uh, this audience, it's, 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 a, it's not a good one. Okay, we got our score. If I can, oh, I forgot that I took it off. So... 7,091, I think we can do better. And I think 1,557, is, uh, eh, you could do better also, I think. It's probably on this 1,260p, yeah, I guess that's okay. Let me, uh, let me print, print, print screen, screenshot. Okay. And just like that, was Crash with a super chat. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that super sticker, actually. It's not a super chat super sticker. All right. I appreciate that. So we 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 broke the drought. <laughs> Unfortunately, super chat is not available in my country. No problem. No problem. No, and and don't get me wrong, I don't want to misinterpret this. I don't that's nice if you do that, but not necessary. I just want people to behave and be nice and be mature and ask and stay on topic and ask nice things and not, you know, make fun of me and all this. Not that I care. I couldn't care less, but it ruins the time for everybody. So that's all I ask. That's it. Simple as that. Will you open the back panel and check the components? I could. I could. We got another uh, super chat. Well, we got a, our first super chat. We had one super sticker. Now we got a first uh, super chat. 
from our good buddy Pavo. Super chat from Poland. All right. Way to energize this. So let's shut it down. And let me uh, let me get out my toolkit from I fix it and then I think that'll be the last we'll do on this. Don't you don't have to afford anything. It's not necessary, but I do appreciate anybody who does do it. Okay. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a T, looks like T5. Let's try, uh, let's try this one, okay. Those are the first three. Okay. Four. Five. Six. And then the last one. Let's see if I can just use my hands to open this up. Let's see. No, we're going to have to use some kind of pry tool. Probably get it started here. I hope there's nothing underneath that rubber strip there. Got it. Did it, folks. Okay. Just had to take your time. All right. Let's see what we have here. So it looks like, it looks like there was another fan here option that they could have put. So that tells me that they were maybe contemplating a model with a, an, with a discrete GPU maybe. But this one doesn't have it. But... This chassis certainly supports it here, that's for sure. One single fan, that's interesting. Uh, there's your SSD, I believe that's your SSD, and then, or is it this your SSD? I don't wanna take anything off right now. And I like to see that, that's replaceable uh, Wi-Fi card. So that could be the RAM, and this is your SSD. And then uh, that's it. So it looks like you have replaceable SSD. No RAM is soldered in. And I think that's it. Let me do my close-up. Not necessarily. Uh, it's probably, they probably have a SKU in mind for one with a discrete GPU. That's what it tells me. Has a second M.2 slot? Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let's take a look here. You tell me. Let's see. I think this is the RAM and this is the SSD here. 
Is there a space for a second SSD? Do you see another M.2? Well, you have this as an M.2, but it's the slotted in for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. And this space is a lot of unused space, so they could probably do some other things with this, that's for sure. I don't know. I don't think there's a second slot. Okay. All right, let me put the top back on. You can't see. Hold on. Let me bring it up. Let me. Can you see that? Anyway, you could pause it and then watch the replay. Uh, I'll, I'll find out, but it doesn't look like it. So. Got to make sure everything snaps back into place. I've been known to not do that. <laughs> okay. Has anybody done any reviews on this? I haven't even checked. So I think, I don't know if I'm the first one. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe other people have. I don't know. What would I, where would I be without this iFixit kit? I should start uh, reaching out to them, see if they want to sponsor a video. I talk about it so much now. And it's been, a, it's been a game changer for me compared to those other cheap sets that I used to buy. Okay, success. Very good, very good. Thank you, I appreciate that, Walter. I appreciate that. Okay, where are we? So we're at an uh, hour and a half almost. So I think we're going to call it here. Uh, very interesting live stream tonight. So very nice laptop. The Lenovo Yoga 7i, 16-inch. Very good. All right, people. Thank you, moderators. Doing a great job. I love it. Thank you. Uh, and I want to see everybody in the next video. I have the HP NV16 coming. And I also have some other stuff I can't talk about. Thank you, William. I appreciate it once again. I'll see everybody in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.